Needless to say, the violent protests during the social unrest last year has undermined respect for and public perception of the rule of law and exposed the shortcomings in our regime with regard to safeguarding national security. The National People's Congress decision to enact the law of the People's Republic of China on safeguarding national security in the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region and included in Annex 3 of the Basic Law for implementation in Hong Kong is both timely and essential. Since then, law and stability in society has been restored, and we now have an enhanced system for Hong Kong to accurately and comprehensively implement the one country, two systems principle. Despite unjustified attacks by some foreign politicians and governments, I and my government will continue to steadfastly implement the national security law without fear or worry. It is sad to see that during the year, such unjustified attacks have also been mounted against our judicial offices. This is not to be tolerated. As guardian of the public interest and is in seeking to uphold the rule of law and safeguard the administration of justice, the Secretary for Justice applied to the court last Friday for an ex parte injunction to restrain persons from law unlawfully and willfully carrying out doxing activities against our judicial officers and their family members. As Chief Justice Ma said in his statement on the 23rd of September this year, courts and judges are not above criticism, but such criticism must be informed, solidly based, and properly made. Otherwise, it would be detrimental to public confidence in the administration of justice and ultimately to the rule of law of Hong Kong. I echo the concerns of the Chief Justice and the Secretary for Justice and would once again urge everyone in society, regardless of his or her political stance, to support the rule of law and respect the courts, judges and their rulings.